never in my life have I wanted to steal a sign more than I do right now. No, uh, people. Welcome back, you lovely degenerates. It's, it's me, Oz. And, and today we got another episode of me IRL because I had so many clips in the last episode that I, I just made another one. So, woo. <laughs> hey. So, like, are, are you just, like, not shot? Man, it has been... I, I got a lot going on lately, all right? You just... It has been a rough 22 years. Imagine, like, going hiking and running into this. Like, I, I don't even know what my next move would be. Uh, what is the opposite of... Pss, 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 because I, 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 I'm gonna need that. Dude, that lion is fucking jacked. Like, look... Look at those muscles! Jesus Christ! A man has not been skipping his frosted flakes in the morning. Leaving the house. It's good for depression, but bad for anxiety. And staying at the house, it's good for anxiety, but bad for depression. That's why you gotta stand directly in the doorway to achieve peak mental health. Sorry, Chief, I'm gonna have to disagree, because standing at the doorway just kinda amplifies all that, because now I have decisions to make, and I can't just stand in the doorway for a bit, because uh, I'm gonna let bugs in the house. And I don't like having bugs in the house. So my door dash uploaded this picture as proof of delivery. <laughs> Look at her face. Imagine opening your door to get your food and you get fucking flashbanged. <laughs> my child just got sent to Zoom detention for not paying attention in Zoom fourth grade. Um, email says, here's the link to access the room to serve detention. I... I I swear I'm trying so hard to take this life seriously. Me. Yeah, okay, it's, it's probably time to sleep. My brain. Friend, in this time of need, I have brought to you the top 50 mistakes you've made. Use them wisely on your quest. What gives Germans feelings of power? Granted! There are a lot of directions this meme can go, a lot of which would probably get me fucking exterminatist from this goddamn platform for even mentioning. But it's not <laughs> what you think. It's money, status, and there are fucking wizard windows. This, this, this shit is... Alright, so when the handle's like this, it's closed, right? I mean, yeah, that, that's normal. But when it's like this, the fucker tilts. And then when you turn the handle like that, it opens! We got bullshit sliding windows here in America! What is this? I'm, uh, I'm starting to hit the age where I finally understand why people are so excited to win an appliance. It's, uh... It, it, having a microwave is one thing, but having, like, a combo microwave oven that can, like, cook frozen food super quick is a whole nother ball game. let me tell you that. Also, I kind of hate how smug this guy looks over here. Like, in this photo, I know it's, like, out of frame, but she's, like, breaking down crying, and he's just like, Yes! Cry! Cry harder for the camera! I've, I've faced more peer pressure in my life to start animes than, like, you know, do drugs. Oh, whoa. What's this? One piece? Let me see what this is about. No! No! Minnie, no! They took him! The airport is a lawless place. 7 a.m., drink a beer. Tired? Just sleep on the floor. Hungry? Bag of chips now cost $17. Would you rather have $30 million or 30 million loyal friends? Now, like, what the fuck am I gonna do with 30 million friends? Now, before one of you smartasses is like, oh, I'll just ask all 30 million friends for a dollar and I'll have both. You're not gonna message 30 million people for a dollar. And if you make like an automated script to message all of them, they're gonna talk. There's 30 million of them. All right? They're gonna realize that you literally copy and paste the same message to all of them. They're like, oh, this guy is just an asshole using us for money. Even if it is a dollar. Then on top of that, you really want to deal with managing 30 fucking million loyal relationships with friends? I can't even do that with the small friend group I have. Teachers will be like, what inspired you to write this essay? And it's like, uh, bro, the, the, the deadline, that, that's my inspiration. 
You have that one kid that's like, honestly, I just wanted to invigorate my passion for writing and understand the fundamentals of Reese. Fuck you. All right, if you're that kid, I hated you in high school. All right, I've got a question for you all. How do you politely tell your visitor that it's time to go home? If you're from the Midwest, you just say, Welp! Really forcefully and slap your knees with your hands. And stand up. Other Midwesterners will recognize the signal and say, Suppose we should head out. I'm from Idaho when I do this. I'm not Midwestern, but still, it's, it's, uh... I, I think Idaho is just like a weird southern midwestern state that's been transplanted into the west coast area, but it isn't, it's a landlocked state. But still, despite it being a landlocked state, we have a submarine testing facility. Imagine that! Imagine hating England. There is no country in the world more beautiful. So I feel like when people say, I hate England, they're, uh, they're not referring to the plants and cows. Maybe you should just pick up a history textbook and you might get a good idea why. The best part of grocery shopping is seeing what kind of fucked up new shit the psychos at Oreos have come up with. So I, I actually, you know, because I only remember Swedish Fish and Cherry Cola for being the weird flavors, personally. So I googled how many there- The list started at 131! Why?! Someone needs to go and wrangle the goddamn flavor goblin up at Oreo and put him back in his forever box, cause Jesus! Money doesn't buy happiness, but like I- I would definitely rather be crying in- in this apartment. Like money may not buy happiness, but holy shit, it solves a lot of problems. You know when you're playing cards against humanity and you think your card is unbelievably funny and the person reads it out loud and just not a single person laughs and like, yeah, that shit hurts. See, it's all in delivery. If the person screws up the delivery, it's not going to be a good card. But, if you're playing a physical copy of Cards Against Humanity, and you can keep track of the person you don't like in their card, you can ruin their entire game. Who the hell chose my grandma? That doesn't even go with the card itself, it makes no sense. God, only an idiot would choose this card. People who treat their birthday as a normal day think they're more matured than everyone. No, we're, we're just miserable, like, just leave us alone, god damn. I, I fall in that boat, alright? I didn't have a 16th birthday, that was huge. I didn't have an 18th birthday, that was huge. I didn't really have a 21st birthday, that was huge. My dog died on my 21st birthday, so that was kind of shit, alright? Never had good luck with birthdays, alright? I was the, the weird kid in the family who always did donuts instead of cake, and uh, usually I'll just end up cleaning or doing something entire. I don't, it, it's just a day. It's a reminder of my impending death. So when I was a kid, I thought the long vampire things were hollow and had holes in the end that drank blood through them like straws. Now, see, I, I used to be in this boat until I was traumatized as a child by a movie about vampires invading Alaska. They were very clearly drinking the blood and swallowing it. You, uh, um, I'll probably find the name of it and put it up here, but like, I, I'm still afraid of kitchen windows to this day. You can taste these photos. <laughs> yeah, you can taste the spoon more than the ice cream, though. And honestly, every time I taste the spoon and actually have these, I, I just go like full beaver mode and just start chewing on the stick until it's broken down. I got problems. All right, I I'm gonna admit that. Either that, or, like the ice cream has like really bad freezer burn. There's like there there is no in between. A hedgehog screaming at the ground. What a fucking mood. Yeah, this is this is pretty much just just what I look like when when, when I try to do a push up at the gym. <laughs> Please see cashier. <laughs> no, I'm gonna get in my car and find another fucking gas station. Is what I'm gonna do. I I am not going inside to interact with a human over this. There have been times where I have like tried to put gas in my car. It says please see cashier. I look at the cashier. He looks at me. I see transaction cancelled, and I get in my car and I leave. I am not good with people. <laughs> <sighs> not a cell phone in sight, just people living in the moment. Now, if you're familiar with what this image is, you and I both know that this quote-unquote living in the moment is, uh, well, <laughs> to put it lightly, short-lived. Man who says his threat to blow up a bathroom had, had nothing to do with the bomb. <laughs> I... I'm inclined to believe him. 
I, I could kind of see the scenario of like getting your order wrong at Taco Bell and then in retaliation threatening to blow up the bathroom, but you know, they misinterpret it and now you're getting your bug shot. <laughs> You know, once I began working in IT, I, I finally understand the scene where Yoda just gets tired of answering Luke's questions and he, he just fucking dies. Now, as the tech bitch or tech gremlin of my family, I regret going to school for computer science. This only happens with one family member, and that's the one who has a Windows Vista laptop from 2007 who refuses to upgrade and says it's good enough, but then complains about the speed then blames me when I can't make it faster. God, I just want to throw that hunk of junk into a washing machine. Laptop's fine, though. That's a little mean. <laughs> Potential gym GF? Thinking emoji? Yeah, sorry, I, I just don't date short guys. <laughs> yeah. I'm like six foot, though. Yeah, I'm just sorry, 6'5 is a minimum. 6'5 is a minimum! What? So... I'm 6'3 and a half, 6'4. It depends on my posture and if I'm able to stand up straight. All right. I slouch. I got I got the whole Quasimodo back going on. <laughs> it's not that bad. But um, I maybe meet three people, not including my father, you freak of nature, who are taller than me in a year. And six foot five is her minimum. Damn. Inflation's crazy, man. All right, ladies. Mansplaining is short for man explaining. All right. I, basically, it's when someone like me explains a very simple concept to you. I know it can be a little hard to grasp, but I'm glad I can break it down for you guys. I hope to God the joke comes across how it's supposed to because holy shit. <laughs> if it doesn't, I'm fucked. Ultrod is easily the best villain in the MC. Like, like my, my, my man spent five minutes on the internet and just decided the human race needed to go, and I, I, I couldn't agree more. He was also played by James Spader, which is a bit of a shame because James Spader really doesn't do roles like this very often, which sucks because he was, like, born for them. He mostly just, like, sticks to TV and stuff. He was in The Office. Some of you may not actually know that uh, Robert California is Ultrod. It on, but you're gonna be surprised by how ugly it gets. You don't even know my real name. I'm the f Lizard King. I've gotta ask, like, why are vampires always wealthy in movies? Like, how do they make a living? Like, a mow? I'm gonna level with you, with you, fam. If you've been alive since 1892 and you're still broke, you should probably just step into the sun because it. I mean, honestly, fam, at that point. You were dealt the best hand of the game, and you still found a way to fuck it up. So I was petting a dog, and the owner was like, do you want to see her puppy? And I was like, bruh, yeah. So I for real went to this bitch's car with her, and the puppy was cute and all, but I really just followed a stranger to her car because she said she had a puppy. Ted Bundy would have loved my dumb ass. If you're one of those public speakers that say, good morning, Oh, come on, we can do better than that. Good morning. I automatically do not like you from that moment on. In fact, I'm actually probably going to end up checking out of that public speaking event and instead wondering if the day that you finally find yourself at the gates of your afterlife, if your punishment will be justly served onto you by a silver platter, something that will give you the agony and feeling of dread as a public speaker asking such a ridiculous, nuanced question to its audience. Maybe I'm not having a good morning. Maybe I got fucking hit by a bus and my cat died this morning. But there's absolutely no leeway room. Instead, you have to hype yourself up and use the audience as your own personal springboard, using our own emotions as a way to make yourself feel better. Maybe one day, when you find yourself in that said hell, you will then understand our pain. And at that point in time, when I see the agony and distress creeping over your face, I will gladly say good morning back, as I know my words will be your personal hell. Can you tell I used to have a really shitty teacher that used to do this every morning? Ah, uh, the outro. The time where I'm pretty much required to tell you to like and subscribe and do all that stuff and check out my other channels like my shorts channel and all that jazz. Oh, and ring the fucking notification bell too. I gotta, gotta tell you all that stuff. Cause it's just how it is. 
Should I have more enthusiasm? Like, smash that like button! Yeah! Anyways, I'll see you all soon.